Right, my fellow Pomdeteers, what happened last episode? Well, we went on an epic quest, we founded a daycare, we had to deal with Brent's estranged wife appearing out of nowhere who'd become a glutton, and apparently was pregnant with Brent's baby, which I think is physically impossible due to the timeline. Something's clearly happened with the gods anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to abandon here, then Brent's going to go on his own, we're going to keep setting out camp until we get to about here, and then we'll do some stuff with these two and this one, and then we'll come back and hopefully we might have some fairly well-educated children. Right, so um, I was just caravanning out, I just set up a settlement just here, ready to set off to trade with these guys, and while I'm packing up, I, I had a slave trader come along, so they have some really interesting characters another child however this one's an imp and i think if we can convert them which is fairly easy because they're a child it would be quite cool to have an imp they've got a load of really really good stuff like fast run and magically sensitive which is kind of nuts they are fast wound healing pounce they're ageless they have all sorts of stuff going for them so i think they would be really really good and the fact they're quick study and strong intellectual is nuts they've got this one oxana who will join as a colonist they are staggeringly ugly but they are also fairly good and i think they'll be quite good as a teacher so i think i'm going to get them as well the third and final one legend who will join as a slave but i'm sure we can again figure something out they are an ogre but they are a hero as long as legend still draws better there isn't one threat that the colony can't overcome which is nuts they already have quite a few good selection of passions but the fact they're giant and they've got great memory, they're nimble despite the fact they're an ogre. And ogres in general have really good immune systems, fast learning, they can eat really well. Now the problem is, we oh we can just afford it. Okay, I might, is that going to upset them? Mm, it might upset them. I'm going to do it anyway. Right, there we go. Add you to caravan, add you to caravan, add you to caravan please. And... Yeah, I'm going to hope to recruit this one and Legend. But I think Legend's probably going to go with Brent for now. I think I'm going to send Barati and Oksana on a little quest to go back to the settlement where we set up the education centre so that she can have a decent education as well. I think that would be quite good. You two then. You head over to that. It's going to take you 2.7 days. That's fine. We've got... You've got 3.5 days worth of food. You two, you've got no food, but... I'm sure that's fine. You're from Attila. I didn't even realize. So actually, if I imprisoned you anywhere, I'd probably upset them. I should probably let him go then, shouldn't I? I he, he's a capable person. He's not a child. But to be fair, as an ogre with the very unattractiveness, he's going to upset everyone else. I'll tell you what, I, I, I'll, I'll make him a deal. If he can help us with this bit, I will release him back to Attila straight away. I will just give him back. I'm sure that's fine. I went into the files. There should be no more Lusty Sword Maids. I've made sure that with Cherry Picker, they should not exist anymore in the world. So it was funny the first few times, and it just got a bit boring seeing them on the map. I also went into the loot box files, and I should have disabled them from being viable from traders. So the only way we'll be able to get them now is if we get them from quests, or we find them in a dungeon or something, which I think is a lot more appropriate, as the original files intended, where they're a bit more OP. But if we can't buy them, it kind of negates the OP side of things. So I think that's a lot better way of doing it. Right, Oxana's caravan is on their merry way over to here. How are these guys doing education-wise? Uh, King, you are on growth tier. Oh, you actually, you right, this tier, you could actually get a passion. That's nice. Skylar, growth tier one for you. The miss is the important one. You're still on growth tier zero. Oh no, the Empire got angered after we sold Eltex that time. Oh, okay. 
Right, these guys are here. Uh, let's ask for a quest first. While seeking out a quest, you accidentally insult the settlement's leader. In doing so, you failed to find a quest and have damaged relations with that faction. No. Ah. <laughs> um, I suppose having Legend walk in is probably uh, not the best thing to happen. We've got so many Rottweilers now. Uh, I'm not sure if we need all these Rottweilers. So we need to sell all this citrine. So I should probably sell most of this. Ooh, Oxect Bull. Massive insect species commonly found underground, often used by the inhabitants as a pack animal. How good a pack animal? Just under a hundred? That's much better than our donkeys. Someone did say it'd be quite good to get some cows on the road so that we have a continuous supply of milk as a food source. And I think that's quite a good idea, actually. Are they pack animals? No, that is a shame. That would have been nice. Kind of something that produces milk, but also is a pack animal. They produce milk. These oxec bulls, uh, the, the bulls produce milk. Ooh. Milk amount 14. How much do you give? 18. Okay. Okay, we need to look out for these insects then. I guess we could buy a bull. We get the zero one. He's the youngest one. That does increase our caravan capacity by a lot. We then trade the uh, young donkey. We can slowly go towards these insects rather than having donkeys. We'll keep Olive, obviously. Maybe donkey one, just because it's been for us since the beginning. But I think we'll swap out for something like this so we can use multi-purpose. That'd be quite good. And what else do we need? We need food, actually. Actual food. 600 potatoes only feeds us for that amount of time. That is ludicrous tell you what let's sell some of the puppies but for some reason that reduced the amount of food we've got which makes absolutely no sense okay that's nearly three days worth of food i think that's pretty damn good okay we could then offer to help we could try stealing from them i mean i think brent realizes that they need the money there is a risk legends nimble get an ogre to rush in grab their gold and run I mean, do, realistically, do we want to be friendly with this faction? They're the smallest faction in out here. I don't think we really need to be friends with them. Let's do it. Brent knows that our caravan needs money. We need we need it to feed our poor starving children. Do it. Right. And anyway, you guys set up camp. I'm going to get you to harvest some berries as much as possible anyway. I'm going to make sure that you're not going to try and escape. No, you're fine. Let's have a proper look at you. I haven't really looked at you yet. Oh, you look terrifying, especially with <laughs> that knife. Oh, tiny imp child. You're going to be an amazing colonist when you grow up. Problem is, you are unattractive and aggressive, but again, we can probably counteract that fairly easily. At carnivore, they will only eat meat. Oh, there's only that animal. Okay, that's not great, is it? And what weapons do you have? You've got a great bow. 40% chance to attack. Oh, uh, that's not great, is it? I guess we'll give it a go. Hopefully, if we can just get one separate from the rest of them. Let's try it. A dare wanders in. Okay, we have to hurry up because always that's going to hunt us. Why is it just the one? It's just the one. How badly did you hit it? You hit it in the leg. Good, run. You hit it again. That was his other foot. Okay, we're fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Do we just raw foods? Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's good. We just need to butcher it and we're fine. Yes. Finish it off. Well done. Right, we just need to butcher it then. Good, right. How much meat did we get? No, 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 no. You're not eating that meat. It's not even that much meat. So, reform caravan. Go to there. 1.5 days. They go 0.3 days worth of food. Um, It should stave off starvation, which is the main thing. So, a diplomatic marriage. Word of Legend's Charm has reached Dimos, and they've asked for Legend's hand in marriage. They'll join the refugee empire. I think that's probably too good a thing to pass up i think you'd be happy there i mean i love legend too but um i feel like you'd be better off with the empire so who am i to not let him be happy we're gonna wait until they finish trying to steal all the gold though does that make sense and then we can um yeah let him be happy with the empire you never know though we might meet up with legend again this might not be the end maybe we'll meet him once he's a uh, part of the empire who knows and it will help cement some uh, relations with them because they don't really like us after we sold their LTEX. Right, two out of two days. We did it. We stole 4,541 silver. Wait, did I accidentally click the wrong thing? What happened? I thought I clicked theft. I think I accidentally clicked offer help. I was going to steal their gold. Instead, we got a stupid amount of silver. Um, I can't really complain that much. That's, a, that's, that's ludicrous. Okay, fine. Well, who am I to say no to Legend's happiness? Go on. Damos sounds overjoyed. She is convinced they'll live happily ever after with Legend. Good. Well, I hope Legend's happy. And what has that done for our relations with them? 23 now. 
Not bad. Do you have any, like, decent weapons? Arcanium Mace? Named Armament. An ancient ornate armament. Marcy Smith. It gives us great protection. Just named armament. You've got 10 of them and you're selling for 3,000. What? How good are these? They give 35% social impact. 200% shot to pressure. What? I need that. That's amazing. Really, I guess Brent already has the masterwork plate. Anyway, let's try and give you this. I think that's good enough. Right. Let's go trade with these people then. 1.3 days. That's fine. Coyote is not doing us any favors. I think they're actually starving right now. Severe malnutrition. Go on, let the coyote go. Right, and these two have just arrived. So that's uh, add Barati first. We'll add Oksana. Over and come a party. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Education then. Let's have a look. So that's gone up to 69. Nice. That's cool. It's fine. It is quite fairly slow, but I think if we, if we had a lot more people doing a lot more different things, that would be all right. If maybe we had different teachers, it would be a lot better. Uh, we do have these people who are passing by. So we do have a little bit of silver. Oh, it's a mothid. A human sentient species sharing many characters with that of a moth. They are subspecies of insected or human insectoid. What do they have? Downed refugee, hunter basilisk, or hunt an echimera. I reckon downed refugee. Sure. Saving Brianna. 51-year-old vengeful hunter who's a hobgoblin. They're tough, no talent, physically psychically dull good at mining melee okay and hobgoblins are interesting because they can ascend to being orcs they can asexually reproduce which is interesting as well so you wouldn't be a bad character if we can get you to be an orc that's kind of cool once again we've just got another mining character so we could easily set up a mining settlement somewhere where are you in the world you're fairly close by uh how long are you going to be okay for 14 days so I'll, I'll go to that settlement first, get some quests or whatever, and then we'll go rescue her. The paralytic abasia is going down, so that's amazing. So another 21 days and you will be a decent colonist. Okay, I'm pretty pleased about that. And then you, how's your pregnancy doing? I don't know how that's going to work if you're in a colony, but we'll see about that. Well, we arrived pretty late at night. If they've got anything to trade first, I'm going to sell a little bit of Yayo. Just because I, it does seem fairly easy to get Psychites. I think we're fine for the time being. Let's sell that. We'll get some money back from them. And then we'll look for a quest. While asking a tavern for a guest, you get into a fight with some drunken citizens. You fail to find a quest and were damaged in the process. Brent's fine. They attack the animals. That's not nice. <laughs> Brent's absolutely A-OK, -okay, but apparently they took it out on the animals instead. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brutus and Brutus Hina. That's uh, not Olive. That's horrible. Right, I guess we'll set off in the morning then. Oh. Transport balloon crash. Bounty hunter named Mivanovi is crashing in a transport balloon nearby. They're suffering from parabritic abrasion and unable to walk. She will recover naturally after many days. There's a chance of a lucky quick recovery. Jump to location. Oh no, you're over there. Oh, what are you? Ifrit. Right, heat immunity, greater fire spew, detonation. Carriers can detonate their bodies at will. Oh god, fire obsessed. You're a pretty cool character. Are you actually any good? Copycat. Isn't particularly good at anything except what everyone else does. Global learning factor plus 15. Global wording speed plus 5. Okay, that's interesting. Very diligent student. Much faster in skills they lack passions in. Okay, so you're amazing at everything then. We kind of need someone to go rescue her. How long is it going to take for you to get back? 1.1 days. You're going to be hungry. I'm sorry. Brent, rush back as quickly as you can. No time to waste. We need to go rescue two people. <laughs> okay, an armor smith is approaching. Maybe they'll help you. <laughs> I doubt it. They're just going to look at you on the floor and be like, oh, hello, you. You are potentially a really good character. Pertinent path. Well, we are going to need to convert you, unfortunately. You are very good combat-wise. You're a cult child born into a powerful cult with shunned advanced technology and believe that illness could be cured by cleansing the soul through sacred art. No wonder you can't do art. And bounty hunter. You turned bounty hunter. Interesting. Okay. Because I think it's actually going to take longer to get someone from here to go to there than it is for Brent just to go to here then there. But we'll see. Hopefully, he can do it in time. Unless Brent's ambushed. Oh, not these people again. The Pact of Trado. Get out your gun. We might need to get Brutus and Brutusina. How are you doing? Brutus can't even guard yet. Shoot. That was awful. Uh, you okay? You took a... Oh! Oh! Brent, uh, flank them, flank them. Right, Brutusina's doing all right. 
Oh god, they can't pour off. That's awful. Come on. Oh, her tail's been cut off. This is not good. Okay, you've got rid of that one. Now get rid of the other one. Come on. This awful person is really hurting her. No. Get him. Ooh. Okay. We've got this person who's a hobgoblin. Uh, talented bowman, although you're not. Physically dull tycoon. I don't know if it will hurt taking them. So I guess we should. Point one day to arrive. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And is Brutusina going to be okay? No, Brutusina's dying in six hours. What are you doing? Can you tend to Brutusina, please? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. I'm not sure if we're going to keep this person. I, d I don't know. We might let them go once they're healed up, I guess. People of Trado, do they just really hate us? Or could we be friends with them? Right, they're hostile with us, but they are willing to go to a minus 15 natural range. That might not be too bad. If we release them, release a few people, we could potentially be friendly. Isabel's in labor. Um, I'm sure you'll be fine surrounded by all those people. We are... <laughs> oh god, Brent's child's about... Oh, Brent's child's in inverted commas is about to be born. And where is this character on the map? There. Brent, go offer help. You're potentially a very interesting character. You, I don't know if it's worth having. We might just let you go. Plus 15 if we release you. Yeah, um... We'll see. Ambush. Oh god, Brent, run, it's hedgehogs. Come on, one more. Get it, Brutusina. Get it. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> oh. King became an adult. Oh, so you didn't turn out that good then. Right, you got a passion. Congratulations. Uh, desensitize? Mountain lover. Nudist or big boned? I guess desensitize is better. Rescue rejoins. Good. Egg le Oh, you can now just lay an egg. Right, okay. Let's quickly go help. The armorsmith have left. They've just abandoned Mivanove. <laughs> right, okay. I think you're going to be fine. Are you okay? You are very sleep deprived, very recreation deprived. You've got minor malnutrition. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, right. Set out the tents quickly then. Right, Brent, go rescue her quickly. Well, let's have a look at Brianna. I haven't really looked at you properly yet, have I? Um, I mean, you're physically dull, no talent minor yep you were a junior jeweler fascinated with gems and minerals as a child large collection then you turned into a vengeful hunter following the death of a close friend by an animal attack brianna hunted the beast responsible she trapped from a nearby village only to find one of the villagers wearing its pelt now, that's a bit of a sad ending to that isn't it but that means you can't handle animals you are tough though no talent isn't great but it is good for mood effects and breaking so that's not too bad you are going to probably die Oh, she's no longer capable of walking. Release her quickly. Where are you taking her? There, just release her. There we go. Yay, plus 15. Nice. I have found out from extensive testing that the Caravan Activities Framework uh, has a small bug with it, but one that um, is quite significant to our playthrough. If you have an animal in your caravan when you try and do an activity, I think it's impossible for you to fail. And in some cases, you can't even do the activity itself. We saw previously when we tried to do some foraging and some woodcutting, it was physically impossible for us to do. That was because we had an animal in our caravan. If we don't have an animal in our caravan, we can do those things. So um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to play that. I think what we might have to do is have two people per caravan. So if we have any animals, we can split it and the person who's going to do the work can just do it solo. I think that's probably the only way to do it, unless we set up like camps like this and we just abandoned the animals here in the meantime when we went and uh, did the work at the settlement. I think that's all we can really do. Uh, the other thing, because of that, I went and had a look through the files when I was doing the testing. Um, I'm quite glad I didn't do the stealing gold because the 40% risk means that one to three colonists could die. The series could have been over at that point. Brent could have just dropped down dead. So yeah, don't do that because you you risk death. I looked at the other files um, and yeah, the high risk stuff, death is quite significant. So I think we're going to be avoiding that from now on, especially when we do not have animals in our caravan. The only thing that carries on being a bug, even when you don't have animals, is the general help. Um, and that is, even if you don't have animals, you can't fail that by the look of it. It's just, I've never failed it. And I tried about 30 times in a row on the highest risk never failed so not quite sure what's happened there i did have a quick look at the files couldn't figure out the reason for that 
so i think for the time being what i'm going to do is between now and next episode i will nerf it to the point where the medium risk takes three days and the high risk takes seven days because then at least it's the time investment you get the money back that makes sense to me so i think that's the best way to go forward the other thing that i did off camera our little daycare a little bit concerned because our characters aren't doing great and missy especially she's been there quite a long time and she has barely progressed at all now what i have done is i have tweaked it so you might see that the efficiency has gone up significantly i have tweaked it so that the lessons happen i think every 12 hours it might be every 10 hours and the growth rate goes up a little bit same with the other rates so hopefully it will be on par with better efficiency of learning as we travel around like i set it up so that should be a little bit better now so hopefully our characters here can progress a little bit further along we have now explored i think this chunk of the map we haven't gone up here but there's no real reason reason to uh, these people hate us these people hate us and we are in no state to actually start taking people on one of the things i did remember is the fact that we do have vehicles and we do have the alpha vehicles neolithic so we could get some caravans probably most of these require hay or kibble to power them however one of the things that we do have which doesn't is a balloon so a balloon, I believe, just uses wood as a power source. So we need 150 cloth, 10 steel, and 30 wood to make that. That might make caravanning a lot easier. We can then, say, have, for example, more setups like this, and we can easily transport our people around the map a little bit easier. I think that would be quite nice. We do have the add-on for vanilla outpost logistics one, so we could legitimately have a few little outposts dotted around, which I think would make life a lot easier, especially because uh, we do have quite a lot of people good at mining, so it might be worth setting up a mining outpost fairly nearby, or maybe leaving the children here to like kind of learn, and then we can get someone to come over, pick them up in the balloon, and transport them. That might work out quite well for now uh i think everyone's a bit tired but i'm gonna get brent to try and trade with these people just to see what they have leather focusing tomb a book inscribed with special psychic runes this heavy book enhances psychic sensitivity and neural heat dissipation that is very good that might be amazing for missy lots and lots of people have recommended getting animals that produce milk and a couple of people have suggested getting uh, mods that make more animals produce milk and i do like the idea of that but i do also like the idea of getting these oxec bulls because they produce milk themselves so i am going to focus on getting that i could get like dromedaries for example because they produce lots of milk as well so i'm going to focus on getting animals that do more stuff like that uh the rottweilers are good for us obviously for various reasons as attack animals but i think these bulls especially are quite cool so we might end up getting the donkeys putting them on the sidelines for a bit we might set up a farm or something for olive and um donkey one who i forgot to rename and a name i quite like was papaya so there we go we've got the donkey papaya so uh, yeah we might set up a little farm for these guys just so they can uh, live out their days and have a nice time what i want to do though is i want to get that book for missy so let's try and quickly grab that uh, we do have enough thankfully which is very nice lovely and you can have that awful iron cleaver as well a chat for quest while we're here as well we could do peace talks downed refugee or bandit camp uh, we do have quite a few good people we could do a bandit camp actually do some combat that might be quite good right the brigand outpost Daniel Dan Leon, divine traveler of the kinship of Kamiza, has sent us a message. Apparently, subjects based in the nearby camp have been raiding their caravans, controlled by House Oswin. Dan is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all subjects and turrets. Bandicoat is guarded by one subject. So, we haven't actually seen these people. These are dwarves and small folk. They're good at trading and they do crafting and all sorts of stuff. They are neutral with us, which is quite nice. We could get an Arcanian robe for Missy. And she would actually be a decent psychic character at that point. Or we could get the good work. Let's, let's go with that. Okay, right. Where are you then? Let's have a little look. Uh, oh, it's on the way. Oh, great. Okay, that works out really well. Only one enemy as well. Nice. Right. So, uh, Mivanovic, how long until you are up? Oh, you got paralytic abrasia. I forgot. Uh, can we fix that? 10 exalted medicine. Do we have 10 exalted medicine? We have lots of exalted medicine. Uh, but I don't know if we've got the skill you only skill five. Oh, um brianna can, can you do it not of not assigned to operating brianna i think it's time what is your manipulation though mm, we might need to wait to your manipulation car up a bit okay that's fine okay i think we're just gonna wait for brianna overnight it's pretty much night time anyway so we're gonna wait until 
the next day. Hopefully by that point, uh, your manipulation should have gone up. And, oh, you're already on it. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mivanove. Uh, you you may uh, you may be injured. Brent, can you stop unpacking everything? <laughs> Oh my god, what did you do? <laughs> Quickly, yeah, that, that would be good. She's going to die in three hours. You nearly cut her arm off. Okay, we're going to have to try again when you're um, a bit more healed. You know what? Actually, uh, administer that. I don't want her dying. Okay, these these tens aren't too bad. I think she's going to be fine. Uh, but you are wasting all our glitter of medicine doing this. Okay, it's 6 a.m. I feel like it's time for us to go. So you know what? Uh, all of these can be uninstalled. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Oh no, Brianna's ex-husband has turned up. Uh, that's a turn of events, isn't it? Right, get your guns out. Okay, nice. Then you shot his ear off. I'm not sure I want to kill him. Is that going to upset you? No. You've already got a husband. Carlo is dead. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. So that's your ex-husband and you got married. Oh, this is already an interesting uh, story. You've got an iron packed dagger. Okay, that's not bad. Do you want to load that onto the caravan as well? Okay, a little bit of a scare, but we're okay. Time to go and take out the bandit camp controlled by House Oswin. So House Oswin is over here. They are an insect based faction. So like a mercenary group that's controlled mainly by insectoids. They've got some methods. they've got all sorts of various uh, races. So this will be interesting to see the type of people that we actually do come across here. Let's have a quick look over here. How's everything doing? Missy has actually progressed quite quickly up, so that's quite nice. It might be a little bit too overpowered. This is the first time I've actually had a look at it, so it might be too much. We're going to have a little look and see. Oh, that's the other thing. Wasn't Azel pregnant? Y you were pregnant. You weren't pregnant. You were lying. You were just very bloated. <laughs> You, you thought you were pregnant, but you weren't. You were just very bloated from eating all that food, weren't you? Yeah, I think that might actually be a bug, but we'll <laughs> we'll say that she was just bloated. And how's your paralytic ablasia? Let's have a look. 16 days. Okay, and then you'll actually be up and about. That's pretty good. So, right now, we are just waiting for Brent to go and raid this bandit camp. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're going to then have to go through the mothids uh we're gonna need to try and swap out some of our equipment because this is all polluted if we're gonna want to go through any of this forest uh we're gonna get toxic build up very 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 quickly right we've had a caravan meet us before we've just gone in violence disabled hmm no lament there's a sword called lament a humongous two-handed sword with a long blade capable of cleaving enemies with fierce swings and chops decent thrusts 22 damage per second that's a nuts. We don't have anywhere near enough stuff to actually grab that, but that would be amazing. Uh, we could grab some packet survival meals from them, though, so we actually have some food. That would be nice. Raid some yayo. There you go. Go nuts. I think that's that's fine. Right, so we're going to see how well this does now. So Missy's currently at tier one, nearly at the end. I think if it just reaches the end here, that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's That's more balanced. That's pretty good. So that should take like, what, 10 days to go up a growth tier? I think that's a bit more realistic, especially with the amount of teachers we've got. That makes a lot more sense. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too mad about that. Right, so let's jump into this outpost and see what we can grab. Oh no, I just realized something. The quest gave us that. Uh, we're gonna have to go back. Okay, Brianna, uh, take papaya. You're gonna have to go back with a couple of packet survival meals. You go back to there. It's going to take you 0.4 days. Uh, good. You can pick up the Arcanian robe when we get it. So you head off. And Brent, you're going to have to do this solo, I'm afraid. You should be fine. Right, Brent, here we go. Where's this subject then? Yeah, here we go. It's a hiveling. Parasitic stinger, insect blug, moth wing, sterile. Ooh, okay. What's their gear looking like? Not too bad. I reckon we've got a shot. Uh, they do have good melee, though. And good archery. Hmm, right, get the gun. We should hopefully have the range advantage on them. And we do obviously have uh, Brutusina ready to back us up, so I think we'll be fine. Problem is, Brutusina's been a bit in the wars, hasn't she? Oh, and she's pregnant? Oh, no. No, don't go on the front line, Brutusina. Oh, this guy's quick. Oh, well, we just halved his manipulation. <laughs> jelly production in three hours. Oh, we could use you for jelly production. Oh, dear. One more shot. Oh. Okay, to the right leg. Okay, it slowed you down a bit. Oh, no. 
Get out your sword. Get out your sword. Brutus Enoch, you have to defend us. Go. No, get him. Get him. No. No. Oh, no, Brutus Ena. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, no. Now Brent's not happy. No. Oh. You got tainted pauldrons. Can you drop that quickly? There, you're fine. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Right, avenge her. Quickly go. Right, just get back. Get back. He's still pretty quick. That's fine. 19 hours. There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brutusina. That's that's horrible. Suppose Brent can make you a grave. Oh no, what's Brutus gonna think? Oh, and we sold the puppies. Oh, poor Brutusina. She's been with us so long. Oh, we've come so far, but at least she'll be laid to rest next to the berry bush. Desperately trying to clean up the damage, but uh oh now Brutus come oh no! <laughs> oh no! Brutus like, where's Brutusina? Oh, it's heartbreaking. Right, payments arrived. At what cost? We got the Arcanian robe. What have we got? Uh, we've got a rock's blindfold. What the hell is that? A timber heater shield? It's tiny. What are you going to do with that tiny little shield? A triangular wooden shield. It's literally tiny, tiny. And we've got a soft lady's fur hat. Right, Brianna, you're going to go back to here, I think. It's going to take you 2.1 days, really. If you go on... Papaya. Hopefully it's going to take less. You could take the jade with you. That's something. Arcanian robe. Very nice. And I reckon that will do. 1.6 days. Yeah, and how is our education doing? So Missy is still growth tier 2. That's not too bad. Okay, that has gone up a little bit, so that's fine. Virati is going to go up to tier 3. That is very nice. I'm going to rename some of these colonists when we uh, get back on, on the open road because, yeah, quite a few of them now need changing. And, yeah, I've got my uh, little Patreon list ready, so we will rename them as soon as we have got them all together again. Cool, let's meet up there. We can merge together, then go on to Toga. Excellent. Right, well, at least our children should be fairly well educated. And ready, steady. Boom, there we go. Right, move on. It's going to take you a day. Okay, I'm glad that Brianna's actually getting there, though, in terms of ascension. She's already up to 16%. It won't take her long to get there. Right, you guys head off. We will abandon this camp in a bit. I think once we've met up, we'll abandon that. And then I think we'll probably set one up near here. I think what we'll do is we'll go up to the Mothid Gabella Swamp. And then we will move up up here to the Red Natter Bruno, and we'll go through this ancient dark forest. I think that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to then loop around, go over here. We might try and uh, make peace with the people of Trado. I quite like them. We'll see how it goes, but I would like some more colonists maybe from them, so I might, I might hold off for a minute. And then I think we'll move back down this main road might say hello to the refugee empire we will go through to the mots and then i reckon that we will go back on this main road and we can explore the rest of this map over here i think that works out quite well i'm going to leave it there for today so thank you so much for watching everyone if you like this please leave a like and subscribe a massive thank you to all my patreon and youtube members clint david len belise lord Lord, t kales tall man natural cheese mikey soundtrack king of fawns skylar burchell charles mint salad lax brian lloyd heretic and codry pierce you guys are amazing thank you thank you so 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 much for all your support it means a lot to me so thank you so so much and i will see you next episode Bye bye